In this new version, there are a few improvements for a smoother workflow. When you open your add-on preference, you can rename the add-on tab name. With the same name as other tab, they will merge into one, making the 3D viewport clean and organized. When you select a curve object, you can add mesh details onto it. You can also select multiple objects and apply details on those curve objects. There are several categories to choose from, you can change to a different one at any time. In addition to profiles, you can add an end mesh to curve. Either soft flexible one, which bend along with curve, or rigid one, which does not deform. Please note, those operators require the active object to be a curve type to start, otherwise, they are grayed out. You can cycle through different details with the previous and next buttons. Change category at any time. There are two types to control mesh distribution along curve. Manual or fit curve. Different controls will appear when different mode is active or different mesh is selected. After the mesh is scaled, double tap to switch mode and its scale transform is applied. Depends on how many curve points there are, its radius and tilt can be adjusted independently. If you are happy with the editing of the active mesh, you can copy its profile to all other selected objects of the same type. Same logic also applies to curve end objects. When working with curve end object, a proxy curve is used. If the curve shape is modified, press update to snap it to new location. Flip end will move the mesh to other side of the curve. Both end will duplicate it. Use finalize selection to convert selected object and remove relative proxy objects. Bones from curves will use existing curve points as guide to generate chain of bones. Subdivide the curve for detailed bone shape. It works with multiple selections. When cyclic toggle is on, it will generate a closed loop of bones. While working, you may have a mesh that you'd like to append it to source file for future use. Optionally, you can use the test button to see how it will look when applied to a curve. And make additional modification. When you are happy with the result, select a category and append it. Then you can use it on any curves. Hope it can speed up your workflow.